Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, the Venetian uh, boulder keeps rolling on as we go and destroy the planes, nations, peoples. <laughs> they are commanded by Meta Comet. Awesome. Let's get to it. So I think well, this is almost all of the Dagestan Protectorates left. There's still the Inuit and the Plains Nations peoples, but these are all the most readily accessible um, factions dealt with. So we'll take a bit of time for this um, for this territory to be brought into brought into the fold because they'll still be quite resolutely um, animalistic. So let's. Mm. Over here will probably be fine for the most part. Ultimately, we are just going to be advancing slowly, try and identify their center of gravity, and then annihilate them. So, let's keep my elites and my skirmishes all over near the foot artillery just in case things get bad. go. Get on the center. Howitzers. Fire. Whatever targets are available. And let's begin to steadily advance. We need to send our cavalry out to search ahead of our line. I suppose Martillery can use... Oh no! There, there we go. The infantry ran. Rats. Wrong. Button press for that howitz team. That's what happens. One false move. Still, could be worse. There are much worse ways to screw up the button press. Once you guys get up and ready, and limber your guns again. Yeah, there we go. Flank companies get running. Swiss Mountain Jaeger's in position this wooded ground to pour volleys into the flank of the enemy attack. First volleys are in, are in the air, repulsing the initial waves. Reload! Native American warriors. Get my men out of the way of the carabiner. They give us curve in. You men cease fire. Cavalry withdraw up the hill. Rely on the Marines. Knocking some of the enemy down. Actually, they're wavering, so. Turn around, face them down. Shattered. No, don't shoot them. Charge into the Amer Native American warriors. They're good melee troops. Let's see if a bit more cavalry. Is enough. They get my howitzers to shoot round shots. Okay, get my regiment of horse to fall back. They've been caught out of position. Keep my Put artillery engaging the chief's bodyguard to the rear. A 
isn't that isn't all of them. Let's see, one of my men got winged by my skirmisher. There we go. There's a couple more units. Bowmen are coming in. Bowman backed up the one medicine men unit. This warrior society is just going to walk in front of my line, taunting us. We have ammunition for you. To the safety of the medicine men. Artillery shots landing in. There we go. Now the men are under fire. Hit the chief's bodyguard. There's another Native American warrior unit. Okay, they're committing in defense of their chief. We, we have killed their chief. So my heavy cavalry can withdraw. Okay, there we go. Run these men to the safety of my own lines. Dragging the rest of these enemy units with them, particularly their cavalry. Human advance up the hill a bit. This cavalry has to make a run for it. The men crash into the bowmen. A couple of our men are getting shot by friendly fire, but I'm willing to accept the losses. Show them our strength indeed. Broke the medicine men. Being in the right place at the right time. Good artillery. Engage those bowmen. Shattered, 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 shattered. Just broken. Okay, actually. Charge in, retarget. Good artillery. How it says ceasefire. Take that, Bowman! Nice. Shattered. Still just broken. Keep on coming. These men reloaded. Should have been pushing my line up this whole time, but I haven't been. A little bit of that. Good. 
they've attracted an immunity there, so draw them back to the lines. Something like this. Cavalry get down off the hill to somewhere more tactically useful. Everybody just going to run into the melee in due course. Although it looks like they're all chasing my cavalry unit, so this could work quite nicely. Barrel down the hill into them. That's cutting them down. Shattered, 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 shattered. Uh, shattered. Yep. Give them a volley. Ah, oh, you lucky swines. Okay, we don't need to carry on the fighting because the uh, city has fallen. The faction is destroyed. Let's get this destroyed. Let's reinforce the army. Demolish the farmland because we can build a better one. Upgrade the cotton plantation. Upgrade the roads. 28 turns for Corpus Christi to develop. Uh, that should, we should be able to speed that up a lot once we build better farms. Ernesto Ariema is still pushing for Santa Fe. To be honest, I suppose this this army you can just auto resolve some of these um fragments of new spanish armies okay you better not repair demolish the fishery upgrade the farm get another sloop to replace the trade port that army's still re reinforcing i think for the most part um, everything in, we're already doing everything in America that we can do. You're marching to Yankton. We won't be able to leave this territory for a while because they they really hate us. Not very much religious unrest though. Yeah, they just hate us. So this army is going to be sat here for a while. Um, elsewhere, yeah, just use oh, your line range. Okay, apart from that, you also can't leave because the pirates don't take kindly to that. Balthazari, get down to the crossing near Cayuga. Just start to recruit the core of a new army here in Quebec. Can you yet leave your own territory? No. Nope. So Longlac is developing, which I'll turn into a church school to help convert the population to Christianity. Okay, that's that done. Plenty of fighting around Rome. I think I've probably got enough forces in the area. So here at Venice, we've got a craft workshop. Yeah, you chaps, hold your position. Let Marco Pache replenish. Signore. Let Michele re replenish. Most of, most of what Italy's got is artillery units, which isn't a huge problem, but let's just take it steady. Constantino is going to help out. Instead, Constantino is going to go to uh, northern France, grouping our forces together ready for the invasion of India. I mean, ultimately, we're quite far along. I want this to be wrapped up. And all of the spare armies I've got shipped, shifted over here, ready for the final invasion. All the while, Trincomalee is just constantly recruiting extra troops. Something like that. There we go. 
then we should be able to land effectively one army on every coastal city. All the while, a bunch of armies are barreling through the Middle East. Okay, so you on the move? Yes, you are. Some of our cities here are garrisoned. Heidelberg. I mean, we may as well just go for happiness buildings in both of these territories. They hate us, and we don't really need the money. So, yeah, we can probably afford to not be maxing out every possible town in terms of income. Okay, here at Stockholm, we could probably cut the number of dragoons we've got in half. I mean, Ukraine's quite solidly solidly Catholic, so this agent can probably get an order to push down towards Ardabil. Durban, let's get you a church school, because I would want more religious agents. If you're on your way down as well. Good. Up here at Archangelsk. Let's at least get Catholicism up to... Actually, you've probably got towns to develop. No, you don't have any. Okay. 100% Catholic. So this minister, who is really good, give them an order just to march on towards Zahedon. It's going to take them a long time. Moscow is quite heavily Catholic, and they've got a seminary as well. This guy is really good at converting people. Give them an order to get on to Kabul. Davia, you've still got religious unrest, so you're going to keep ticking away. Belgrade, you're almost converted. Bosnia is. Klausenberg. They have a church school and two towns, so you can give you an order to get to Nehru. I mean, it's going to take ages for any of them to get there, but you may as well just give them these long orders. I'm not overly bothered about about um, making sure guys get from A to B as quickly as possible. So Copenhagen, are you converting? Should be. Yes. Good. Um, okay, let's... Hit and turn. More ships for the navies. So three full stacks plus a whole bunch more developing. Yet we're going to bring death and destruction to the uh, Mughal Empire. They're not going to like it. Persia's bringing up support. Ooh. The Iroquois might actually destroy Louisiana for us. That'd be pretty intense. The USA is firming up its borders. Ooh, workers have rioted in Austria. Now let's get you inside. Destroy the university. Yep. Okie dokie. Suez. Upgrade the Unmaster's works. Tenanted farms. So much economic growth. It's ridiculous. Okay, sugar warehouse. Upgrade Belfast dockyard. Go mad. Upgrade absolutely everything. Cool. Church school at Ceylon. Perfect. Montreal's got new roads. Let's upgrade that. Awesome. Recruitment report. Apparently nothing was recruited. Often in Iceland. Iceland has not been appropriately developed for a long time.
Okay. New national leader. So we've had an election. Let's check our ministers. And lots of them are not very good at all. Plus one army. So an immediate option is to swap you guys. Plus one navy. Plus one army. Okay, so then you guys are, can be a straight swap. Apparently not. We don't really have a need for a great India minister yet, so let's just get rid of this guy and replace it with Ricardo Mancini. However, plus one management, plus one justice, plus one treasury, plus one management. You are great as the justice minister. Good. She'd get rid of you. Then as long as everyone's four star, I'm happy. And the particular opposition doesn't seem to be a super team either, so that should be okay. Okay, one more turn for mass production. Ten more turns for... Well, that means Konya is going to be free to be redeveloped into a different university. Here comes the March of the Priests. There's some new Spanish armies. We're just going to run around them. Not interested in fighting them. Not that we can destroy the faction. All the pieces are moving into place. Okay, you probably need to go top up most of those fleets with third rates. Louisiana has defended itself. Now they're going to chase them down. Nice. Um, no, you can go to the city if you want. Mm. Here come the Italians again. With lots of artillery and a few armies that are a bit depleted. Very well. We'll form up our defensive line and we will annihilate you with superior Italian gunnery. I think after this we'll do we'll have done enough damage to them that we can attack and destroy Rome. But then once we destroy Rome, we can begin the invasion of Persia while we build up for the invasion of India. Let's get cracking. Um, not going to fight for the hill. I'm going to make you fight for my hill. So come at me. All of my infantry is going to be dug in. Come at me. Got plenty of defences here. Um, my foot artillery is not going to be dug in. So look at the arc of fire of these guns, plus the mobility of the trailing teams compared to that. No, they always prefer them unlimbered and un defend not undefended sounds wrong. Not what I mean. Great. Heavy cavalry. Either flying, carabiner up front. Uh, slow. Not a bad technical, technical position. Okay, let's make sure I target one gun team going after one each of theirs. It's managed to trigger a mass cavalry attack. Carabiner look pretty cool. Howitzers are often firing against the regiment of horse. Who are you shooting at? My heavy cavalry has spread them out on the flank. Oh, my generals. Whoops. There we go. By spreading the artillery fire out, I am doing... It is 
proceed getting better outcomes. Yeah, they were off by general. Sorry, I heard something ringing at thought. Was that me? No, it was not. Killing a number of their crew. Okay, I think I'm gonna need more cavalry support on this wing. Okay, the howitzers. Switch to quick climb, attack the enemy infantry that's coming in. Excellent, they're abandoning their artillery. Okay, right, let's make sure I'm targeting people appropriately. Drop into square. Keep my artillery focusing on their artillery. Okay, get out of square. Get ready to pour, to pour multiple volleys into that enemy column heading our way. They don't even have bayonets. Pushing forward. Charging into my marines first and foremost. Oh, oh, oh thank you, it got annihilated. Artillery targets. Engage that team. Okay, they're broken and retreating, but keep firing. These gunners are experts I've got back here. Form up. General bodyguard again. It's nice and run across our line. Teams were helping with their gun intact. Focus on the artillery team that's coming in together. Still more guns off in this direction. Go on, engineers. Dive into the carabiner as well. Get in the line. Okay, 
And one gun team start picking off these Sakers. That's convinced another regiment of force to come in. If you're far enough away to avoid my musketeers, you're in range of quick life. They've lost their gun team. Especially if you guys with the round shot are able to engage this cavalry team. Yep. They've been obliterated with our volleys on the way in. So many bushels of wheat ruined by. Italian blood. If you can hit these guys with a quick line volley, that would be super. Now out of luck. gun team, two gun teams. Kill another one. The idea here though is if they aim at the front team and miss and overshoot, they'll hit these ones. More cavalry charges, yeah, more cavalry charges. Do what you must. Nope. Wally. Don't fire yet. Gun team destroyed. What about you? Yeah, you're broken again, but you came back. And you're still firing. I think my howitzers are engaging them. firing the accuracy of these guns is superb oh, we're gonna stay where we are I think Enemies in a terrible spot trying to attack us. Our artillery is doing a really good job of pushing them back. These guys are just in range. Just gonna keep lobbing long range shots. Things like this case. Oh wow. They're so close to the border as well. If they route, they route really quickly.
shoot my howitzers, can shoot quicklime. Their dragoon's got a charge off against my heavy cav because I wasn't paying attention. Dragoons quite quickly. Ooh, my cavalry might break here from attacking with being attacked by lots of poor quality cavalry. So let's bring my Carabiner into the fight. I think we smoked that team dead on. Nice. Okay, you guys engage the second. Yeah, my cavalry's barreled in here as well. My left flank. Dragoons are going down. Seven eighty five. Red We've got about a hundred dragoons versus. 150 of my cavalry now. Okay, shattered, broken. Ooh, dead on hit there. Two units keep attacking that unit back there. This lone unit. Attack the 20th regiment as they come in. Oh, the general's bodyguard came in to try to save the cavalry. Stay away from the militia. Tried to stop the fire at will, but they still fired. Cease fire! The center of my line's been absolutely hammered, but theirs has been hammered more. Pushing in, they didn't charge to try break through the line. Load. Here they come. Up and at them. Chase, chase them off. Oh, they did actually make it through to my guns. At least it, they wait until after the uh, devastating blows were dealt against them. Push forward. Skirmishes are attempting to stay out of range. How 
howitzers. I need to nuke the seventh regiment. And the lion is on the advance. The militia are going down. Need to kill a few more though. Okay. I'll shatter them. Good. Now my cavalry's blown. Still coming. Moving up the guns. Shots are landing all around this demi cannon team. This is the gun they're claiming? No. Okay, everybody's going to... Everybody's making ready. See the wreckage of that one? Quick, I'm hit still there. Make ready and fire. Especially if they're going to sit back and not not just charge us. More artillery at the rear. Attempt to gain the heights. How it just provide some close support. More artillery. in the face of enemy action. These guys should have us covered. She focus on the fourth. They're the only real threat. Oh, there we go. Concentrated artillery fires made these units retreat. More dragoons. Units advance forward. God, oh, they're still coming. Okay, that artillery team has been destroyed, as has a pre another. Okay, right, a couple of artillery teams here have been. Knocked out. Let's try and attack their cavalry because these are the last real threats. Oh, this regiment of dragoons is in position.
get ready. The Nadrigan unit should be taken out by the regiment's foot on the line, on the edge of the line. Looks like it is just artillery left now. Just um, cavalry left, sorry. So where are you charging, 7th Regiment? Oh, you can't make up your mind. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Ah, oh. 1st Regiment have been annihilated. All artillery engage the dragoons. And my infantry on the edge of the line are ready to give fire. No, they couldn't handle that. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing here? All my artillery fire! I'm getting some cheap shots against my line infantry on the flank. Not anymore, they're not. They get a few volleys and they're out of here. Take that, Italy! Woo! <laughs> that was longer than I thought it was going to be. But you know, they, to be fair, they did have a lot of troops in the fight, but now they have significantly fewer. Hmm. Cherokee have left the front door open for the Americans. Are they going to take it? The answer is no, by the looks of it. Mass production. Researched. Good. So now you. Okay, Konya's our last university. Wait, I haven't demolished. Can I demolish? No. Either way, new ports. New ports are always good. Let's upgrade these. I hope I've already got a sloop for that purpose. Good. For the Jesuit College. Okay, you, yes. Just to try and make those territories a little bit happier so they'll leave us alone. Uh, yes, yeah, so all the mines in New Spain. Plus the Khan warehouse, plus rebuilding this port, plus upgrading Veracruz. Plus the silver mine, plus the farm. Good. Antigua's fortified. I thought this army might come and try and attack Panama, but it hasn't done. Okay, keep. Oh, so many things to upgrade. Direct consequence of our global reach. Yes. Well, great. It seems like they aren't really interested in doing anything to stop us. Okay, mine, 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 mine. French Guyana. Good. Commercial base in Savoy. Oh, I've got so many things.
It's always nice when you see something that's at the max level. So then you're like, yeah, you know what? That's done. It's fully upgraded. I'll not come back. That's like a a chain, a building chain that is complete. Like that, like Martinique. Once the commercial basin's done, and once the uh, the roads are done, and the sugar plantations done, actually that will come back. I don't know what it might do. Either way, it's really I always really like it when there's literally nothing I can do to stop what's happening. You want to go back on yourself rather than go through? Okay, at least it's still next turn. It's time for Santa Fe. Okay, so let's go to Europe. Let's make sure these all go to the right. Navies. Okay, then you up here. Okay, you can only take one more third rate and then you'll be done. You can only take one more third rate and you'll be done. You're already only getting one. I think you might be able to take two. Raju, you're ready to rock and roll. You've only got one second rate, two second rates. Let's get two. Something like that. And that's probably more than enough navies <laughs> to saturate the Indian front. Excellent. So Turin, have you come to peace with us yet? Nope. What about you, Stuttgart? Minus one, minus one. We recruit one Dragoon unit just to make completely sure. Alien States Preacher. Minus five, minus five. You are a bit trickier. If I recruit a stack of Dragoons, you might be able to go away. Right, so now you're depleted. The army to the back is in full is that full strength? Siamo pronti. Although you have to move forward to get it to make way. <sighs> so the enemy forces are going to be barreling into the city <laughs> as soon as the engagement starts. Um, but looking at the timer, I think that will be something we'd be better off doing at the start of the next episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the fall of rome cheers everyone